spiritually, you are going to feel just caged in and suffocated if you're not waking up and being able to go into something that you're excited for. Mm-hmm. Now, this is this is a big topic and it's important to have compassion and patience for ourselves on our path, right? There's been many times in my life where I've been lost. I didn't know what I wanted to create. I didn't know I wanted to start a podcast called Know Thyself and have these conversations at a deeper level. I felt the essence of seeking and curiosity that was always there. But there was many times where I was doing things and affiliated with people and doing businesses that were not in my highest excitement. They were not truly what I felt like could the world needs and I wasn't utilizing my skill sets. It's so important. And I love the Japanese term most people have kind of probably heard by now is ikigai, which is the four kind of contributing factors to really finding your purpose and your and your true higher calling in life, which is can you find something that you're good at, that you enjoy doing, that the world needs and that you can get paid for. Mm -hmm. And if you can find something that in that kind of Venn diagram crossover has all those different elements, you're going to be able to show up in the world fully alive. We need more people that are just fully alive in what they're doing and what in the way that you're speaking to. So it's a process. It's a journey. It's important to have patience and to inquire, self-inquiry, finding silence, get into a quiet place as much as you can to see what are the things that I really like. Maybe you just haven't tried enough things. But once you start going on this journey, you start discovering more parts of yourself and then you get to share yourself. So much in my journey of finding myself has now been in the sharing of myself. Coming onto this podcast, coming onto more forms of expression, I'm discovering like, hey, I really love this. I really like doing this. I'm going to keep on pulling that thread more and more. And then you get closer into this place of that center of the icky guy where you're like, wow, I'm living my purpose. Mm -hmm. And to be able to say that, to mean it, and to feel that peace within yourself is one of the most rewarding parts that you can get to on your journey. Exactly, man. And then once you hit that, you know, you feel like the feel good guy, not the icky guy, right? Like you're just like, I hit it, right? It's like, and I would say this is like, if you have something you're good at and you enjoy doing and uh, the world needs and you can get paid for, maybe if you have a well-established job and you don't want to leave, create a hobby, at least do a hobby that isn't aligned with that, yeah. right? Let's say, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm a banker or like I'm really high up in, in, you know, Morgan Stanley or something. Right. And I, and I do really well and I, I'm actually good with numbers. Like I, I, I enjoy it. I, you know, it's not like what I'm here to do, yeah. but I know that like I weave baskets like a motherfucker. Like I kill it. <laughs> like I've been weaving baskets since I was little. My grandma taught me, you know, like, and it brings me so much joy. Well, the world needs baskets. I just moved into a place. I need something to store this, this, and this, right? Can you create a hobby? Can you maybe on a Friday leave work early or on the weekends, just make a basket a month or something? Start bringing more purpose to your life because that is the fuel of your life force, right? Like you're able to create what you're here to do. Oh yeah, and share it with others. Oh yeah, and get compensated or in however way you want to. That's a gift. Yeah. And the the compensation, that'll kind of just take care of itself. Whatever you find mastery in. I, would, I remember I was in Nigeria and I actually met somebody. I saw somebody that was a master basket weaver. Bro, I knew it. There's <laughs> yeah. someone out there. There is someone out there. And it was mesmerizing seeing him weave these baskets and how yeah. quick he could do it and how beautiful they were. And there's there's utility in that for the world, whatever it is, whether it's something like basket weaving or public speaking. Yeah. Um, there's 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 a way in which the world will reward you financially monetarily for just being in your zone of genius. Thank you.